Yes. So, quiz time. Guys, come on. Kartike uh, and Mukesh, you were asking how to master questions on uh, this thing. Uh, equivalent resistance and, you know, finding current with practice only. There's no shortcut for this. Yes, Risha is there, Ananya is there, Sukhjot is also there. Very good. Vabhav, yes. Tamil Technography, hello. So, guys, you know the drill. Quiz time. We'll have leaderboards in between, don't worry, right? We'll have time to show off how knowledgeable we are, how, how quickly and how precisely we can answer, right? All right. Hey, the ultimate science. Yasharth is there. Very good. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. Come on, guys. It's going to be a fun session. You are penguin, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. So, guys, we'll move on to Menti. The number is, you know the drill, first of all. You have to go to menti.com. The number is... I think you can see it very clearly over here. 14618548, right? 14618548. Ready? You are a robot. Oh, nice. All right, guys. I'm switching. So, all right. Wow. Okay, okay. I can see a lot of you are here and quite interesting designs. Nice, nice thumbnails, huh? Someone is alien, someone is robot, someone is a ghost also. Nice. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, we have got crab is yours, puppy, huh? All right, I can see the crab. Okay. Unicorn is there. Nice, nice. They have got very interesting thumbnails. All right. I think we are, st we are ready, right? Come on, come on. Let's do it. Let's see how quickly, how precisely we can answer, which means... Don't worry, you know the drill, how we are going to do it. Come on. First question for you. Guys, Volcano is Chavi, huh? All right, all right. You're a bugger. <laughs> okay, guys, come on. Time to answer questions. Ready? First of all, just everyone give me a thumbs up. I mean, yeah, thumbnails, I understand. They are, they are quite funny. They are quite interesting. Are you all ready? A thumbs up would be better. Any heads up for me would be better. Yes. Mohsin says, nice, you are ready. Okay. Anyone else? Yes. Okay. 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 Nice. We have got nice smileys. We have got nice thumbs ups. All right, guys. Come on. First question for you. You know what? Answer fast to get more points. And this is the question on your screen. In a series combination of resistors, the effective resistance is dash the individual resistances. It's a very easy question, which means you have 18, 17, 16 more seconds to answer and it's a very easy answer. And guys, don't answer on the chat. Huh? I mean, it'll be like cheating. No, no, only Menti. Come on. No, 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 Yasharth. Don't do it. All right. All right. Okay. Time's up. Oh. Who is answering equal to? We just studied this. Come on. I understand you were you are in a hurry. You clicked something else. But it means you know the answer, right? I mean, it's going to be greater than. In series, what happens? R equivalent equals what? It is a series combination. Means two or more resistors are connected end to end. Right, R1, R2, R3, equivalent is this, which means equivalent resistance is going to be more than any of the individual resistances. Even if you connect a 3 ohm and a 0.1 ohm, what is the equivalent? It is 3.1, means 3.1 is more than 3 also, 3.1 is more than 0.1 also, right? Nice, nice Priya, you got right, very good, fine. Okay, Watermelon did this, alright, okay, so... Even if you answered this wrong, make sure you don't answer the next one wrong and it's okay. See, speed is important, but accuracy is also important. Fine. Okay. Come on, guys. Next question. Very good. Very good. Nice. 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 Ready? Next question for you. It is there on your screen now. All right. So. It's a diagram based question and 
it is determine the current passing through each of the resistor in the given circuit okay all right what do you think easy or difficult i think it's again okay divyansh you're asking why it has free electrons why instead it's a property right you have seen if you if you go into chemistry how they are all arranged you will understand in insulators all those where we have tightly bonded electrons they go they become insulators right so this is how you have free electrons they can jump from one atom to another and that's how you will also learn about conduction band valence band and all these things don't worry nice yes whoa oh nice 60 people have answered this correctly very good and i'm sure if you made a mistake again it was like a silly mistake right so the question we should be asking is sir how to avoid silly mistakes right so a is the correct answer why what was asked from you right very good sign the equivalent resistance circuit is given by the sum of two resistances why because if you look at them end to end they are connected which means they are connected in series fine so equivalent resistance is 500 ohms okay we got the resistance very good nice current passing through each one of them would be same it's a series combination that's why and i equals v upon r equivalent and this is 5 upon 500 and that's why you are getting 0 0.01 ampere yes yes sanvi you're right very good nice nice given in 0 0.5 second nice Aryan. all right so in electricity now this is this is the one very important thing you will learn things in bits and pieces and you, then you have to reconnect everything and try to apply it in questions, right? So this is what, what we are practicing. I understand today questions are easy. Slowly, slowly we can raise the bar, right? Okay. Thank you, Manjeet. Very good, Priya. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, ready? Next question. Shall we go? Okay. Okay. Guys, nice, come on. There's still time. We have seven questions and now it is the third question. Question number three on your screen. Now, you know, I feel like sometimes I'm Tabach and playing KBC on this. All right. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is your question. In the given circuit, each resistor is of resistance 1 ohm. All right. What is given to you? Again, a circuit diagram is given to you. All right. Find the current and voltage across the resistor R1. Fine. I'm not doing this on purpose. Okay. So, and you have you have got ample amount of time. I'm giving you one minute for this. Each resistor is of resistance one ohm. Find the current and voltage across resistance one. Mind it. See, one way you might make mistake is uh, I I won't tell you how you'll make a mistake. Come on. You know th there's a very less chance you can make mistakes in this question. This reason I'll tell you after after you give the answer. All right, we have got a battery of five volts. Fine, we have got an emitter. There is a key, and there are three resistances: R1, R2, and R3. Now, first of all, I think you understood. Nice, Vijaya. All right. If you are here, it means you have answered, right? Okay. Very good, Priya. Manjeet, no, that's not the drill. You don't answer over here. But I can see that is not the answer. So you are trying to confuse people, huh? Manjeet, <laughs> don't do that. Come on. Okay. The answer is option A. Now don't think of it as a pattern that every time option A is correct. So 37 have got this correct, which means you struggled a little bit. Now, I'll tell you first. There were three resistances, right? Okay, okay. So what was happening? First of all, you understood it is a series combination. That is for sure, right? Yes. One, one, one. All right, Manjeet, huh? playing smart. All right. We got three ohms. Fine. All right. So this is five volts. That is a battery. So you got equivalent resistance. You got battery. That is five volts. So I is something you can find. That is fine. Okay. V upon R, five by three. And five by three is what? 1.66666, 1 1.67. Let's see. Right, very good, very good, Padman Ali, nice, and all right. So, what was asked from you? Voltage across resistor R1. When it is asked, you know, V equals IR, 
voltage across one resistor is asked, it means current from that resistor multiplied by resistance of that resistor. And that's why you will get 1.67 multiplied by 1, that is 1.67. And even if you make a, try to make a mistake, you know what mistakes you can make? Sir, I forgot that R1 is 1 ohm. You know what R1, R2, R3, all are 1 ohm. Even if you try to make a mistake, you will get the answer as 1.67 volt only, right? Yes. Vijaya, aapka galat aya, koi baat nahi. Agla sahi kar denge, usme kya Right? Theek hai. And one more thing. If you think there is an answer given in the chat, don't believe it's right. Huh? Manjeet is, you know, trying to uh, uh, mislead you. Alright? Okay. <laughs> alright, alright, Aryan. Fine. Nice, nice. Oh, link for the previous mentee. Uh, no, mentee sessions link don't, you, you don't get uh, again and again. So this is like a one-time quiz and the kind of questions you have on mentee, you don't want to try them again. It's like one-time question, right? Leaderboard you're asking, huh? Okay. Leaderboard, Yesharth, I'll, I'll show you after this question. Okay? Fine. First, let's finish this question number fourth and come on guys, give me correct answer, right? And the question is, determine the current passing through 100 ohm resistor. Till now you were all dealing with, I won't speak, I won't speak. If I speak, I'll give you a hint, so I don't want. Silly mistake ho gaya, kya ashradha, koi baat nahi. Silly mistake hi to kam karna hai. With more and more practice, yahi mistakes sab se puri hoti hai. I mean, silly mistakes are the worst. They hurt you the most. You know the question, you know everything. But it, you, you got it wrong. Why? Made a silly mistake. It's okay. <laughs> a lot of people are trying to mislead everyone. Don't believe whatever comes on the chat, guys. I'm telling you. People are playing A, B, C, D. <laughs> Alright. Come on, guys. 3, 2, 1 and time's up. So, alright. We have got... Oh, 39 people gave 0 0.07 ampere. Nice, nice. So, what is given to you? V is given to you, right? V is 7 volts, alright? So, V is fine. In parallel, what happens? Come on, go with the basics. In parallel, sir, voltage remains same, alright? Everyone is getting 7 volts. What is asked from you? V asked is current passing through 100 ohm. If everyone is getting 7 volts, it means from 100, amp uh, from 100 ohm, how much current is flowing? I equals V upon R. V is 7, R is 100, you will get 0 0.07, fine, right? Nice, okay. So, you got it correct? Alright, very good, very good. Janta acha kar rahi hai. I can see, people are doing good, it's okay. Yes, Omar, I remember you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright. Oh, misclick ho gaya, kya? It's okay, Manjeet. It happens, when you are in a hurry, na? Misclick ho jate. So, let's take a look at the current leaderboard. We have, oh, Aditi and Chavi, you are very close. Samarth, you are also very close. Are, I mean, a lot of people are very close actually. Akshit, Divya, Aditya, Ritika, Ananya. Ooh, alien, alien koi hai. I, I know someone is alien over there. Nice, Chavi, yeah, I can see you are second. Aditi is first. Shubham, you are at 10th position, but you know what I'm trying to tell? You guys are really close, right? And it doesn't mean, so the reason I'm showing this leaderboard after fourth question is, you have time to get back in the game. Come on, right? Let's go. This is the current leaderboard. It is not the final leaderboard, I'm telling you, right? You can catch up, you can still make it. Come on guys, let's do it. All right, okay. Hey, Sheetal. Okay. Chalo kare? Chalo bhai. Next question, come on. Question number 5. 5, 6, 7. 3 more questions are left, right? Come on. Ready, ready, ready. Calm down, calm down. Come on, come on. It's okay, it's okay. Leaderboard ho gaya, ho gaya. It'll come back. <laughs> Time always killed you, huh? It's okay. Come on. Question number 5. On your screen now. Read the question. 
70 resistors each of resistance 35 ohm are connected in parallel combination okay the equivalent resistance of the circuit is we have studied this in today's session itself ah ah ah, ah. yes all right all right okay connected how in parallel all right resistance is 35 ohms how many resistors 70 resistors i'm i'm just uh, you know doing the time pass over here i know you you have answered till now okay all right oh are Nice Priya. So I see misclick happened over there. You know? Misclick happened and one more silly mistake happened. That was can someone tell me what was silly mistake? It was it was really silly. I understand. If you got D as an answer, it's a mistake, like it's very easy. But huh, you 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 have done it. Ah <laughs> reciprocal. Yes. For n equal resistors of resistance R connected in parallel combination, the effective resistance, what is the effective resistance? It is, do you remember, in parallel, the equivalent resistance is less, right? Kam hona hai. Should we multiply, should we divide? We should divide. So R by n. These are all hacks you develop in your mind. Slowly, slowly you will, don't worry. So it is R by n, fine. That is the effective resistance. So here R is given to you 35. 35 ohm resistors, how many 70 are connected parallel, right? Like this, which means you will do R by N, that is 35 by 70. And that is the problem. Yes, Harini, you are right. That is one mistake that, that has happened. 35 by 70. What we did was we did 70 by 35 and that's why we got two. And you know, questions are smart. They will always give you that option, which will come after a silly mistake, right? Oh, koini, koini, Manjit, it's okay. Yes, reciprocal mistake. I understood, Priya. 2 and 0.5, there was only one way you could have done that. But it's okay. Speed, guys, speed plus accuracy. Speed plus accuracy. Not just speed, not just accuracy. I'm saying speed plus accuracy. The reason these questions are good is because in exams, you need speed and accuracy both, right? That's why. Hello, uh, Ryan Khan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correct. All right, okay, fine. Come on, all right, all right. Second last question. Second last question, guys. Come on, second last question number six. On your screen now. What is the effective resistance of the combination of resistors in the given circuit? All right, again, the circuit based type. I mean, in this chapter, what else do you expect? I mean, there will be circuits. There will be circuit-based questions. What is there? There is a 12.5 volts battery, all right? And what is asked from you? Effective resistance is asked of the uh, combination of resistors. All right, okay. I have got 7 ohm, I have got 6 ohm, I have got 4 and I have got 3 also. Fine. There is time, guys. It's okay. The reason, it's, it's a little lengthy. Oh, nice, Priya. So it's a little in this. That's why you have 20 more seconds. Come on, try to answer. All you have to do is first of all recognize what is what is what kind of combination. I'm choosing the words very very correctly because I don't want to give you hints. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. The question was fine. Nice. And time up. Hold on. Okay. Nice. We have got 35 people answering the correct option. Oh, this time chat was with the, with the correct option, huh? Okay. All right. So, the question was, you have to find the equivalent resistance. So, first of all, what was there, right? This part, this will be equivalent. These two were in parallel, right? Six and four were in parallel. You will apply the equivalent resistance formula 
and if you want to be more quick and there are only two resistances right there was six and there was four only two resistance in parallel you can also do six into four divided by six plus four this is one more way right this is this is a quicker way if you have two resistances mind it only two resistances first of all oh shakti you got it wrong huh? it's okay not a problem see guys these sessions this is not like an exam going on this is a fun kind of session where we learn where we make mistakes and that's how we learn more right come on the, the whole sole motive of this session is that only it's it's like a game you play you make mistake you learn more it's it's, it's a win-win situation for me so r dash is 2.4 ohms all right now these three are in series end to end connection 7 plus 3 plus 2.4 and that's why this is 12.4 right yes oh shubham are rank rank you sochte ho you made mistakes always think if you are making mistakes today it's a brilliant thing it's the best thing you can do i mean i'm telling you if you make mistakes in exam it's it's going to be forever this session we are going to come again right this thing is going to happen that's why yes thank you parvati all right guys come on last last question last question ready heating head priya next next wala next session usi pe i think 3rd jan 6:30 mind it to wo 6:30 pm pe theek hai chalo question number 7 the last question for today here on your screen what value of resistance in parallel with resistances 50 ohm and 100 ohm gives an equivalent resistance of 20 ohms one minute is given to you read the question first right read the question first carefully patiently it's only about language right read it carefully or answer karo theek hai what value of resistance in parallel with resistances 50 ohm and 100 ohm gives an equivalent resistance of 20 ohms all right all right thank you sai same to you we wish you a merry christmas right <laughs> and a happy new year come on i mean in our school this song was very famous i mean we used to sing yes yes i am getting some answers i am not sure if it is correct or wrong see i won't i won't tell this to you one and time up very good priya nice nice and the answer is d which means don't believe everything you see in the chat thank you vijay same to you yes yes okay so i told you this question was all about language first of all what value of resistance in parallel with the resistances 50 ohm and 100 ohm will give you what the equivalent resistance of 20 ohms right right i know what you thought i know what you thought when this language is telling you this language is saying 50 and 100 means they were in parallel okay you thought 50 and 100 were in series right if i'm not wrong that is what you thought right so that's why 1 by 50 plus 1 by 100 plus 1 by r equals 1 by 20 simple mathematics and if you do it you will get 1 by 50 that is 50 ohms right come on guys what you are saying okay all right all right all right yes nice vijay you got it right we just guessed it ha huh? again i told you na no? language watch the language so with this question we have the final leaderboard in front of us and 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 wow chavi is first then we have kirtiman akshit aditya ananya and wait a second watch it again watch it again i know you all love to see these these increasing numbers and don't worry aditi it's okay mistakes happen here come on aditi is there ritika 
समर्थ एजेंट नाइस वेल डन चावी नाइस ऑल राइट ऑल राइट गाइज अगैन आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग दिस टू यू अगैन दिस इज नॉट अ कॉम्पिटिशन गोइंग ऑन येस इट्स अ फन वे ऑफ कंपीटिंग विद योर फ्रेंड्स टू लर्न मोर दैट्स इट फाइन all right all right so this is something which we learned today silly mistakes guys control your silly mistakes practice more questions that is very important and yes happy new year in advance uh, all right sanjay <laughs> oh nice 6 out of 7 is correct good a ke learning are rank ka kya hai yaar yes सुरक्षित रहिए ये सारे ना सो दैट थैंक यू थैंक यू अनन्या नाइस यार आई मीन आई लव टू डू दिस आई मीन चेक द अक्षत वेरी गुड ऑल राइट ऑल राइट गाइस हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू यू इन एडवांस बी सेफ कीप लर्निंग एंड यू नो व्हाट कम ऑन एंजॉय दिस दिस आई थिंक दिस इज द फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड इज सैटरडे एंड संडे एंजॉय नाइस है ना 2022 will meet again on 3rd of Jan with heating effect of current. All right, so happy New Year and bye bye.